Let's start by logging into settings and maintenance in Superoffice CRM. From here, you can now easily set up SharePoint as your preferred document library, and you will find it under Preferences. If we click Change, you can see we have two options. You can select Superoffice as your default document library, or you can select Microsoft SharePoint, as you can see here. And please note that the changes will not affect existing documents. Only new documents will be saved in SharePoint if you select this option. And in this case, we've already connected SharePoint, so we can just click Settings instead. And this will open up a new window where you can connect SuperOffice to SharePoint. And to set it up, you need global admin rights in SharePoint to be able to authenticate SuperOffice as a trusted app in your 365 solution. Then you can select where you want to save the SuperOffice documents. Select the site first. Select the document library. And how should the folders be structured? By user group and year, author and year, template type and year, or company name or project name. And then under file name, you can choose by heading or heading and company name. Next, we choose the site and document library for the SuperOffice document templates. And then select if you want to update SharePoint document properties with SuperOffice data. And what kind? It can be document type, company, contact, project, sale, or subject, document date, our reference or your reference, and visible for. And if you press cancel here, the settings for your SuperOffice document library are unchanged. And if you press save, you will get a summary of your selection and we can apply the changes. Then you will get a confirmation and the settings only apply to new documents added from now on. So let's see how this works. Let's close the tab and log back into SuperOffice CRM. Now we can create a new document. Click New, choose Document, select a template, select Company and Contact. We can add a sale or project or both. Then we add a subject and other details. Now click Create. And this opens up the document in Word. And this is the web app, so we can edit and collaborate directly in the browser and see any changes from our team in real time. And here we can also see the pre-designed template, so we don't have to create the document from scratch every time. And the template variables pull data from the company card, fill in the contact name and other details, which is related to the sale. And we can make changes and the document is automatically saved. And we can now find the document easily on the company card because we linked the document when we created it. We can also find it under contact, the sale or the related project. That way you and your colleagues will easily find relevant dialogue and important documents available in one place. Now let's see how this looks like in SharePoint. And from here, we can go to SO Archive, which we selected to store our documents. And if you have lots of documents, you can also benefit from the SharePoint features to sort, group, and filter. For example, by the SuperOffice data we selected to update. You can also change views or you can search directly for the document.
And as you can see, we have a mix of folders here. Some are by company name, some are by project, and some by template. And remember we chose template and year, so that the document we just created is saved under quote standard in this case. And further, it's structured by year. Let's open the document. And we can make some changes. And again, it's automatically saved. And if we go back to SuperFS, we can open the same document again. And here, you see the changes we just made from SharePoint. And this way, you enable true document collaboration and information sharing across your entire organization.